ta 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 pa 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 ta 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 whoa hello it is the host with the most no pressure folks let's have a toast i do the most whoa it is digital don here and we are talking about yet another cluster which is baby marketing Many of you guys are like, Don, where did you get a mariachi outfit from? from? Well, long story. I actually wore this uh, on my wedding day. Now, me, I'm kind of a weird guy, but uh, I'm a guy with some common sense and a guy who knows the thing about marketing. Um, my wife, Beth, without uh, uh, pretty much telling you guys who she is, she's interested in combinations. Uh, Nigerian, half Mexican. Yeah, figure that one out. So I was like, you know what? Um, this wedding is mainly for her. You know what I'm saying? I can show up in sweats and it's no biggie, but I want to make this special. So I was like, you know, I want to do something different. I don't know what I was going to do. I was like, no, I'm just So uh, I hopped on the internet. I was just playing around. And I ran across the uh, mariachi thing, and it hit me like a master. I was like, I haven't seen any brothers put this on at a wedding. So then I started to think. <laughs> <laughs> Got the idea. I was like, I'm wearing a mariachi outfit at the wedding, right? So I tell wife Fat. She's like, no way, no way, I, I, I really don't see that happening. And I was just like, watch. And um, yeah, went to one of the um, um, Latino bazaars. Didn't know I looked Spanish, but I knew what I wanted. Went in there, saw the mariachi outfit, that a black and a white one, wanted the white one. Straight off the mannequin. Paid them the money. They were looking at me like I was crazy. I was like, no. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe after this one, I'll show you some pictures. But voila, pulled it off. And let me show you what I mean by that. So as I'm walking around with this song, so many people came up to me and was like, oh, "Are you in a rodeo? Oh, whoa, 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 where is it at?" And I tell them, "What? Oh my God, that that that's genius! You're in a what? 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 You're in a wedding? You know, so, so many people thought I was." in a wedding or I was an actor for a movie. They wanted to see my movie. It was crazy. And I knew they would give myself some attention, but I didn't know that they was gonna give me that kind of attention. So I wanted to wear this because when you're able to stand out and the sea of people that's trying to sell their products, that's a gift. And when you have a gift of not just stylizing, but finding out what the consumer wants and how to present it to the consumer, then marketing might be the best avenue for you. It's not always about selling the product, it's about how you sell it. I mean, you can have two cell phones here. If I have this cell phone with little miniature legs and arms and I have it do the cell phone dance, da da da, buy me right now and I might give you a discount off, da, and just have a guy drone on and on about how good the phone is. <laughs> Sadly enough, I'm gonna remember that dancing phone, right? So yes, there are jobs out there that pretty much deal with my, I mean, my God, have you been to the mall? Now mind you, not everybody is good at what they should be doing, but marketing is at the lowest to highest levels. Up and down you can find a job in marketing. Rather it's selling shoes, selling watches, selling cellular devices, TVs, anything that has to do with presenting an item or a service to somebody and based on how you twist that service to that person or that item to that person will pretty much determine if you have a future in marketing or selling. Now obviously, you have to be an outgoing person. You have to have something that jumps out to people 
that makes them want to listen to you. As well as, do you have a good public speaking voice? You know, some people, I mean, my God, man, I'll be at a store and they'll just, uh, you know, I'll have one of the sales representatives. Do you need anything? Uh, you know, my name is Sean. Okay. I'm like, hey, John, you're boring, right? Or a guy like, hey, welcome to Fun Locker. We got 10% off on shoes and 5% off on laces. No, that's not much, but the laces are cool. So come at Foot Locker. And also too, I can make a discount with a discount. Now that doesn't make sense, but buy our shoes. Our store needs your money. We all need your money. I need your money. Come to Foot Locker. So that goes. And the last but not least, main quality that you need <laughs> in order to be successful in marketing, can you persuade people who come in the store and they don't want to buy anything, but are you good enough to take this product and make it seem like you can't live without it or you really need it? I see this a lot in electronic stores where you're just browsing around and that sales representative comes up to you and, hey buddy, how you doing? Awesome, awesome, awesome. What kind of phone you got? Oh yeah? Trash Nokia? Oh, okay. Well, on this new Google, uh, not only is it bigger in size, but it has way more memory. There's a lot more processing in this phone, and you can drop it 10 more times than you can do with your Trash Kia phone. What? What we'll do is we'll buy back your phone if you sign a contract and get one of our phones that you don't necessarily buy, but you pretty much rent. But you know, if you try to get out of our deal, we'll pretty much make you pay for the rest of the phone, which can possibly be about seven hundred dollars. But it doesn't matter because you're paying a monthly fee on it anyway, and that monthly fee might be twenty dollars. But if you go over the actual initial plan, such as the minutes, so go on and set up, and you try to cut the contract, then you have to pay for all that. Etc. Etc. So, do you want our new device? Guys, marketing is a skill. Being able to sell yourself is a skill. Matter of fact, marketing spans beyond just the workplace. Um, you as a person, and I'm kind of having a one-to-one -one with the kids and the adults here. Business aside, cluster aside, uh, marketing is one of the most important things that you have to do in your life. You know, um, we don't live in a kumbaya society. You have to stand out in some kind of way. You have to present yourself in some kind of way. And it doesn't necessarily have to be as dramatic as my material is. But you have to have something that makes people go, hmm, that's, that's interesting. I want to check that out. You want that. And also, you need that as well. So, um, in conclusion of this briefing right here, marketing is important. It's important for your well-being, and it is the number one defining factor on if you get a career or not. Don't just go in to a job and do it the same exact way that you've been doing it. Bring another element to the game to where when you leave that office, that person goes, man, I've never seen that before. Or man, that was weird, but I liked it. Or them, and even if they didn't like it, you're still on their mind because you're not just your typical Joe that just came in for a job interview. That's just FYI, giving you some tips, giving you some game, all right? So, let's go on ahead to our virtual video here where we're gonna be watching a few videos. As usual, you can always reach me at digitaldom underscore CTE on my social medias. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. So stay tuned, folks. This is Digital Diets Online. Of course, we got virtual notes. And after that, you can check out uh, more clusters or you can dive into more careers within the listing. So, da 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 da. Stay marketing, stay sharp. Remember, <laughs> it may be shallow, but appearance is everything. So, work on it. All right, all right. So let's go on ahead and take a look at our first video. <laughs> Old school footage for a new school mindset. Let's take a look at that marketing ploy and let's keep it moving. Marketing, let's go. 
someone has something to sell. Someone wants to buy it. A simple transaction. The basis for just about every economy in the world. And the source of millions of jobs. Wholesale and retail sales and services encompass the marketing of a mansion and the sale of a 15-minute manicure. Anyone with a thing or a service to sell is a part of this industry. So are the people who plan sales and figure out how much to buy on behalf of a company or manufacturer. Many people in sales work for themselves or as agents receiving a commission. Hello. Hi, I'm Dawn doing? from Avon. Nice Dawn, to meet you. How are you doing? Good. Some represent companies selling door to door. In fact, this form of sales, as old as civilization, is still a great opportunity for someone who wants to have a flexible schedule. The drawback is that you're often on your own for arranging health care and other benefits. The sale of services is also a huge business, from the cutting of meat to the styling of hair, services are sold as products to eager consumers. Without requiring more than a high school education, many sales positions are available to people who can prove they're dependable and trustworthy. Cashiers and store salespersons can get started with on-the-job training. These positions don't pay a lot, but they can include benefits and sometimes a discount on the merchandise being sold. If you show you're a capable hard worker, you might be considered for advancement to store manager or buyer. My name's Charmaine. I'm calling from AT&T Wireless. Another job that's fairly easy to get is as a telemarketer. Telephone sales work, like face-to-face -face sales, requires you to be polite and to have good speaking skills. If you're shy, you'll have to get over it fast. Or you might move to a less public position in the business, such as shipping or order filling. At a higher level, jobs in wholesale and retail sales and services involve appraisal, strategy, planning, and managing. People can come into these jobs from college or by moving up through the business. If you want to start a business of your own, offering a product or service, contact the government's Small Business Administration for advice about getting started. All right, attention. Let's go on ahead and tune in to one of my um, corporate um, motiva uh, motivational speakers, Gary Vaynerchuk. This guy is undeniable with pretty much his motivational fervor. So let's take a look at pretty much his whole take on marketing and what it takes to pretty much do what you need to do. It's quite simple. Marketers ruin everything. Things come along in our world, radio, television, uh, the internet, Facebook, things come along and they're for the people. Do you guys remember the first time you found email? We loved email. Email in 1996, seven and eight wasn't ruined yet. How many people here signed up for Groupon, Living Social, Daily Candy, one of those sites? Raise your hand. Remember three, four years ago how you couldn't wait to get $40 worth of sushi for 20 bucks? Or that $80 spot treatment for $40 was the greatest thing of all time? And now you don't give a rat's ass if they send you a million dollar home for 100 bucks? You're like, delete spam, get the fuck out of my inbox. And then marketers, much like myself, see that people's attention is there. Because my friends, it's about this thing right here and this thing right here. I don't give a rat's ass about fucking Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, or any of that horse shit. Where did the customer's attention go? And if you're not there, and you're not playing properly within that, you're gonna lose. It's attention. So when people were listening to the radio, people that wanted to sell stuff, marketers, realized they're paying attention to the radio. Why don't I stop what they're listening to and because they're baseball fans, let me sell them this beer and tell them why we're the best beer ever and interrupt them. And that process, my friends, has gone on forever and ever. You can go back to the caves, right? Here's a cave. I use it because I don't want to get eaten by a dinosaur and some dude wants to sell me a new club and he drew some shit in there to sell me. So while my attention was here, staying away from the dinosaurs, I, maybe I need a new club. That long and that forever. Wherever there are people paying attention to something, marketers like myself want to ruin it. You know, it's all gonna happen. Google Glasses will come out, we'll start fucking with that shit, figuring that out, but everything I'm gonna talk about right now will be ruined by us collectively and that's just the way it is and that's fine. Snapchat emerges, right? 
tons of 16 to 22 year olds there and if you wanna sell something to them, well that would be a good place to go because all of their attention is there. And that friction, cops and robbers, cat and mouse will go on forever. When there's a cave, let's keep using that analogy, where there's a cave with a whole bunch of mice, if I'm the first cat to say, you know what? They're not hanging out over there anymore. All the mice are over here and I come there, there's a lot of mice to eat. And so my game is quickly to move into new places, Facebook, the internet itself with my 96 e-commerce site, and on and on, Oculus Rip is coming, virtual reality. Can you move first, find it, get the most value out of it, then all the other cats come, right? They eat up all the other mice and now, the cats, the marketers, have ruined that location. And that goes on over and over, over and over, over and over and over and get. So if you people, the fans, the peeps, the real life people, if we all migrate our attention anywhere else, it's just a matter of time until the cats come. All right, so one thing about marketing, if you see any of these new movies, which they have a lot of, product placement. So let's get you guys familiar with product placement. There is a hilarious and famous scene of Wayne's World. It's an old school movie for my new school viewers. So let's go ahead and check this out. It's pretty funny. I know you guys will enjoy it. <coughs> Bless me. Listen, we need to have a talk about Vanderhoff. The fact is, he's the sponsor. And you signed a contract guaranteeing him certain concessions, one of them being a spot on the show. Well, that's where I see things just a little differently. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. I'm sorry you feel that way, but basically it's the nature of the beast. Maybe I'm wrong on this one, but for me, the beast doesn't include selling out. Garth? You know what I'm talking about, right? It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. I can't talk about it anymore. It's giving me a headache. Here, take two of these. Ah, new print. Little. Yellow. Different. Look, you can stay here in the big leagues and play by the rules, or you can go back to the farm club in Aurora. It's your choice. Yes, and it's the choice of a new generation. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. All right, let's get into the career pathways. Buying and merchandising. Distribution and linguistics. E-marketing. Management and entrepreneurship. Marketing, communication, and promotions, marketing information and management and research, professional sales and marketing. All right, what you need out of college? Business and marketing degree, about four to five years, all right? Associate marketing degree, about two to three years, and um, I will say, depending on where you're at, choose wisely because you might not need basically a bachelor's you might just need an associate but on the higher end i would suggest to get a bachelor's in marketing as well as as i have in uh, stars right there certificates are also good as well accredited schools let's get it university of pennsylvania bryan university Southern Methodist University, Emerson College, Aladdin University, Georgetown University, Syracuse University, Washington University, and Villanova University. Oh! Right there. Now. All right. Job markets. We have about 48 careers, and we have 28 majors, and we have 27 main industries. Within those 48 careers, I will say, don't let the low numbers fool you, because within those careers, they are ever-growing and ever-changing. So within marketing, folks, <laughs> rather you've seen the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and beyond, the marketing has always changed. So within an ever-changing field, you will always be on your toes. Now, this is probably the highest or one of the highest you can 
start out with. All right, 71, and you guys go, what? Are you kidding? Well, you got to think corporate here. All right, a lot of basic marketing jobs, as I said, they start out um, within the low 20s. But believe it or not, based off of my research, there's a lot of marketing jobs which are hard to get into because it's hyper competitive. That start out, I'm talking 60, 80, 90, depending on what corporation scoops you up. So 71,000 is the median, which means there's a lot of jobs within this field in which you can make <laughs> high high five to high six. I am not kidding. All right. We have reached the end of this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. It means the world to me. Please uh, subscribe if you guys want to see more careers and more lessons. Um, hit a like if you uh, dislike the video. Just go to some someplace else. We don't need your negativity here. Also, um, there are 10 other clusters for you guys to choose from. So if you didn't particularly like this one, you can go to other options. And then when you find the option you need, there will be playlists of careers that you guys can cycle through and look. And when you find that career, you can find the stats, get what you need, apply, and you'll be in the workforce in no time. That is my goal. That is my job. I work for you guys. You guys are awesome. Let's continue to make this place one of the most unique places on this whole planet Earth. And this is Digital Don here. You can reach me at digitaldon underscore CTE at any time. I will try to... Uh